Good afternoon, we're so glad you're here. Free daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Sarah had the car, so she picked me up from work, and we're going straight to Universal, and it's been raining for hours, so hopefully Universal is empty, and hopefully it stops raining before we get there, because <laughs> this hair's gonna be a mess, and we're gonna be soggy, but we're doing it. It'll be worth it. Stop at the P.O. Box. Guys, I've got the wrong P.O. Box number in our description for weeks. But we still have been getting stuff, so that's great. Aww. Oh, cute. I knew this was coming. You are the universe. It's a book for it's our baby. It's a book. Written and illustrated by Sarah. Sarah. Anya. Anya. You are the sun that shines the day. You are the moon and the stars that guide night's way. It's beautiful. You are the rain that falls upon the ground. You are the thunder that makes a very big sound. You are the wind that dances with the flower. You are the mountain as tall as the tallest tower. You are the deep waters of the sea. You are the fish that swim wild and free. It's super cute. You are the sky painted in soft blues. So pretty. Thank you. Uh, you are the bird that sings a song. We also got some Guys, supplements. So nice, yeah. Guys, <clears throat> we got those gifted to us. Balance helps with the hormones. And this, I might Here's have my face. ripped a little. Sarah, please accept this cozy as a thank you for all your help with my business dream. No. You love Snow White, and with fall approaching, thought this was perfect. Your friend, Missy, from Sprinkle Me Disney and Casey's Crochet, Crochet Corner. Corner. I designed all of the marketing work um, for Missy. Ooh, Ooh, that's some Mickey Mouse confetti. Yeah, yep, I designed that. Here's the card. Check it out, check it out, check it out. All the info. And. Ooh, Ooh. so cute. So Thank the, the you logo, so much. The logo is in the back there. Yeah. There you go. It's all black and crocheted. And then on the front, ooh, so funky. Love it. I can drink a um, a pumpkin fizz today at Universal with it. <gasps> ooh, <laughs> ooh. Pumpkin fizz sounds delicious. It's also pouring out. Guys, we're staying at Universal. Whoa. Soon. Is that next weekend? And is it for one night or two? I don't even know. Yeah, we don't even know. And I'm so excited because I am a hotel aficionado and a snob sometimes. And I love Lowe's and I've never even stayed at a Lowe's. And these are all Lowe's. We are at City Walk USA. I always want to say City Walk USA. Because um, a cruise in USA, the Nintendo 64 game. Let us know if you've ever played that. That was my jam. So good. There is a Burger King here. It's probably gonna get the Impossible Burger. When is that? I didn't look at the article that the Peaches sent us. When is that supposed I think to happen? Soon, worldwide. The next Burger week. King is getting, Which um, Impossible meat. It's gonna be great because everywhere we go, that's sold out. They blame Burger King. So I'm like curious. I'm like, is it really that Burger King has been stockpiling all the Impossible meat in the country? In the whole country. But. Are we gonna get a sweet treat? I think we are gonna go get a sweet treat at Voodoo. Instead of a pumpkin fizz? Yes. All right, only time will tell, but the rain has kind of stopped right now, and a lot of people were leaving. Sure. A lot of people were leaving. We're gonna start in Universal. I don't know why Sarah's not cutting over to the right, though. When I was oh doing... my gosh, I was like <laughs> not thinking. Something experienced just now that we've never seen before. We walked straight in. There was no outside queue set up, and we got all the way right here. It's always hard. Like it's actually it's not hard, but it's always interesting because it's a gamble for us being vegans. So they've got plenty of uh, options, but that doesn't guarantee they're available. Just depends on what they have. Then. Yes, that's why we like to go earlier rather than later. So we walk up and say, "What options you got?" <laughs> all right. So Sarah got the ODB. Which is oh, chocolate yeah. frosting with Oreos and peanut butter. Mm. And then I got the dirt, which is pretty much the same thing, but with vanilla frosting and no peanut butter. Yay! And 
you're our boy Frankie's little town. I am obviously a Chicago girl, born and raised, but I love this song. I also did it in my tap show in fourth grade. If we're looking for better conditions to come into the park, it's barely drizzling. Sarah's got it herself a donut. I've got myself a donut. Someone's calling me. And we're at the Gold US of Universal, Florida. United States 34747. Milky Way Galaxy. Milky Way Galaxy. Stitch Experiment 626. Holly and Horror Nights USA. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. You know what I see, Sarah? You know what all this looks like? What? Short cues. But um, Minions was still like 35. But Minions is the good, good. Minions was 75 minutes earlier, oh. and I mean, I guess it's the first ride, so a lot of people are like, ah! 20 minutes. We're going on the mummy, but we gotta put away stuff. I think, I think the big ones are money. Oh. You gotta go in a small one. Don't come bye steal bye. our stuff. We're on our 52s. Um, maybe I'll find like a video of the mummy ride video or something and put it in here, but I don't really know if that's allowed. We'll see. The first ever psychological thrill ride combines some of the best special effects, animatronics, and thrills, and is constantly in the discussion as one of the best attractions Universal has ever created. Yep, that uh, for Universal Studios, that is my favorite ride. Yeah. You too? Mm -hmm. I like question between that and Gringotts, but we're gonna go see about the wait for Gringotts. It's raining again. It is raining again, but all these people are hiding out. Are we gonna hide out? It just feels right like walking through London in the rain, doesn't it? It really does. I want to go to London so bad. We got oh, our passports. I don't Let's do. go. Just facing the wrong way. Suspicious. Ooh. It's just really drippy. It's the first time we've seen that. From this angle, yes. it's only a 20 minute wait, but we gotta wait for the cam the locker for this. We gotta start bringing the cap so I can just like pocket it and not tell anybody. I did not even know that there was an outdoor section. The signs said 20 minutes. This is definitely not 20 minutes. Let's go. Come on, let's just see what the app says. I didn't even know there was an outdoor section. It's all the way over there. True. No, we waited once we, the first day, but then we were inside the bank. All right, the lights just came on. We never saw it, but over there, there's like the cart that you ride in. And we decided, because Sarah hasn't been on this in over a year, that we're going to stick it out. And we won't be able to go on it again. So. Yeah. Well, maybe next weekend. Maybe next weekend. We'll probably spend more time waiting for Hagrid. I don't know if we have said that what we're doing. I don't think so. So next weekend, our friends Switch from Switch and Flick are coming down. Katie and Megan. I feel like you know them more and than Megan here. Tiffany's coming, not Sarah though, right? Yes. We've never met Tiffany never in person. Met. But they're gonna be here. All weekend. It's already so One or two of the nights we're staying with them. Yeah. We're gonna be like full on universal ask vacationing style. Oh, this is where we're staying, we have like the early access. I want like hotel boots from Lowe's. Woo! Ooh. The safest place for gold, jewels, and magical artifacts since 1474. I don't think it's gonna be an hour away. We're getting in back into the main building here. It's been like 25 minutes. And we're about to be yeah, not too bad at all. in that little hallway with all the little goblins and and whatnot. I almost like goblins and ghoulies from last Halloween. Wow, wow. The first time we went on this, we were like right at the end, so we didn't get to watch any of these these old geezers counting all their all their greedy money. Yes, I would love to have one of these on my desk one day, like a fancy like study version. After a ride breakdown, that's been an hour and 25 minutes. We're finally overall. Overall, we're finally about to get on the ride. We were stuck in the elevator for like 40. 40 minutes. Alright, hour what time is it? We got in line at seven, it's eight thirty-three. 
and it is still drizzling away. But we're gonna see if we can hop on over the Hogwarts Express. I'm not sure if it's running this late. Yeah, we don't really know. But what's the worst case that happens? We're in Universal, you know? Yeah. We're in we're way. in Harry Potter World Land, USA Express. Oh gosh. Zip code 34747. Uh, it's a little soggy, so we're gonna keep going. Peter, what did you just say? I said I love going. This way, over there, rather than over there. Because over it makes here. sense to go to like to go to Hogwarts. Also, this is in the movie that we're gonna watch tonight. There it is. It's full for the night, but we heard it. That was it, cool. It sounded crazy yeah, awesome. Today, today. Yeah, like There's right when pumpkins. we got us. There wow. are pumpkins. It's fall. It's so rainy. You got it, sorting hat. Let's go. We did it. That's my favorite attraction in this park. Did you know? I like this. Yeah. I don't know what mine is. That was quick. We walked on, enjoyed the ride, and walked off. Yeah. That was a solid. Oh, you're so foggy. I didn't even realize. We took the scenic route out because we don't go through the dino area enough. The Jurassic Park, but this is literally like the Jurassic Park movie setting. Like, here's the Discovery Center. It's dripping wet. It's nighttime. We just saw a dinosaur. Right. We haven't been over here since all the construction, but there's a lot of construction going on over here. Mm -hmm. We're so so we did so good at hiding from the rain all night, and now we're just getting sopping wet. It's so, it's so cartoony here. We'll be honest, this is a section of Universal that we haven't given a lot of love to yet. Yeah. Yes. What's funny is like when I, my very first time here to Hogsmeade in 2010, it was the third day Harry Potter was open, and we literally waited in line through all of here. To a Lagoon? Yeah. Um, yeah. I grew up watching a lot of the cartoons represented here in Toon Lagoon. Yeah. So, I'd like to give it love someday. Yeah, that ride, that water ride looks really fun. It just looks like you get soaked. So they're just splashing in a bunch of water. Uh huh. And all I can think about right now is how in what, a little over than a month, I'll be sitting back screaming like a baby. Hopefully Beast Baby will be back at <laughs> Halloween Horror Nights with a bunch of my friends. And I'll be at home. Cooking a babe. We're home. Since we spent all night in the theme park revolving mostly around these kind of rides, we figured we'd come home and watch which one? Half Blood Prince? Yeah. Can we? Eve is a Half Blood Princess. Hey. She just had a treat. Don't mind her jumping. Can we just talk about how none of the Harry Potter. None of the Harry Potter attractions make sense. Like, storyline wise. Like,. We're on the Hogwarts Express and Dementors come. And it's just fine. It's just cool. We carry on with our day. Right? Am yeah. I right? Yeah. Voldemort shows up. Voldemort and Gringotts. And then Harry's there too. And then, and then like, there's like leaves. Dementors in the Chamber of Secrets. And Forbidden Journey. Like, okay. I believe it. And who causes that ghost like skeleton? Ah! Yeah. Voldemort? Remember when I said the advertisement would be in the movie we watched tonight? There it is in the background. Here we are. August 2nd, Friday. Daily message number two by Seneca. Not how long, but how well you have lived is the main thing. We fall asleep on the couch watching Harry Potter, which is probably going to be a given of a night, but it is way too late now and I have to get up way too early to go on a, a run so my life is supposed to my knees getting comfy good girl um, so we're gonna go to bed thank you for following along with us, it was a great day at Universal great weekend planned ahead we have some Disney in the works, we have the beach in the works it's gonna be great it's good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.